right out of college. Uh, I didn't want to get the typical nine to five job. Uh, so what I did is I was just uh, working on the skills I had. I was waiting tables and detailing cars. And then the opportunity presented itself for me to take over a failing self-serve. It was a 10 bay uh, spray bay with two automatics with paid vacuums. So I saw it as an opportunity to get in uh, to a larger business that has a relatively high barrier to entry at basically no cost. The opportunity itself to most people was highly unattractive. Not a lot of people want to start their first business uh, in, in a loss uh, or take over something that needs major renovations or repairs. I was there pretty much from sunup to sundown uh, for the first couple months, just learning and expecting things to just go wrong and break. Since the business was failing and, and there wasn't much there, it was kind of uh, getting handed like a clunker and trying to turn it into a Ferrari. It was a difficult process uh, and I got it working well, just like if you put time into an older vehicle, you can get it running right, uh, but it's still an, an older car at the end of the day. I could only handle one car at a time in each bay, uh, which with where the location was at, uh, was not appropriately handling uh, the traffic and the demand for a car wash. Joined Talk Car Wash. I had a lot of different people that I networked with, and I started educating myself on what I could do to increase revenue. The whole purpose of Talk Car Wash is to create an operator focused community uh, that makes everyone's washes better. Uh, so instead of there being a bunch of secret information out there, it's like the latest and greatest of what people are kind of trying, and we're all able to collaborate. So then I started journeying into hey, what if I knocked down this whole building and I built the best car wash. Although I had owned a self-serve before, uh, expresses are a whole nother animal. The financing was not an easy feat. Uh, so being at the time I was just 25 years old, uh, it was rather difficult uh, to convince the people I was involved with uh, to do this thing. So I reverse engineered it. I did a feasibility study. I did a traffic survey of the uh, surrounding streets. I had multiple pro formas, I had multiple industry experts uh, that kind of uh, validified our actual idea. And then at the end of the day, the model, the plans, all of it had a very strong evaluation. So that showed the bank that, hey, this isn't just a crazy idea, that it actually has a value. I don't think any operator can be too prepared to start a car wash. Uh, so instead of just jumping into it, just buying something out of the magazine or acquiring some other car wash, I wanted to start it from scratch. So that means I had to learn everything. And I think that is one of the best things an operator can do is try to learn all the different uh, departments of the car wash versus just focusing on getting it open or, or getting someone to do all the work for you. The more you know for yourself, uh, that empowers you to be more successful sooner. So our first three days of operation, uh, we were doing free car washes, and we washed over 2,500 cars uh, with no experience. So every one of my staff had never washed cars before. I had only washed cars in the self-serve environment, uh, and we were just kind of gung-ho and ex eager to learn. And so when we're on site, everyone is kind of like-minded and, and all about getting better and improving, and that really starts with their personal life. Uh, so with full-time people, I don't like to overwork them. I like to have a great quality of life balance and to really uh, just provide a place that they want to go to. Uh, so when we first opened, we actually had trouble getting people to clock out uh, just because we created such a fun and impactful environment. They felt like they were actually making a difference in the business because they were. Over my travels, the biggest thing I noticed was that although maybe the car washes were successful, there wasn't an external focus on the experience or the way they were making people feel. Since we're experienced first, car wash second, everything they come in contact with is branded. It's a part of the theme. Uh, there's an attention to detail, whether it's the lava rock or the shape of the panels on the building or the black tunnel environment with the lighting. Uh, we're doing everything we can to give them an experience they've never had before and that they want to come back and have other people experience it with them. The tunnel is 135 feet long. We have more equipment than the typical car wash for that length. 
We also have 21 free vacuum spots with 42 crevice tools. So we have a tool on each side of the vehicle. We have two 50 horsepower turbines in our vacuum area. And then we also have three kiosk lanes. All three lanes have license plate recognition. One lane has RFID. In the first six months, we've watched 65,000 cars. We have had over 1,600 active unlimited members. Uh, we have over 5,600 app downloads with over 85% of people using the application once downloading. A lot of people see it now in its form and they're like, how could anybody doubt what this has become? It's such a success. You're washing so many cars. You have 1,000 car days. Instead of taking that doubt in those no's as an original failure, I just kept pushing through to keep making the idea in the tunnel and the experience better so that it couldn't get told no. I think success at the wash is just having happy people and happy customers and people leaving with clean, shiny, dry cars. I think it's rather simplified. I have intentions of launch being a global brand. Uh, we want to be able to go into any market in any town and be able to serve that community with excellence. Uh, so with our systems and processes and routine way of doing business, uh, we believe that we can consistently offer a world-class car wash experience. I wanted people to pull up to our vacuum system and their needs to be anticipated. The design of the Vacutec system and the, the crevice tool that we use, it reduces clogs uh, and we have a lot more uh, suction uh, on a routine basis. When they pull up and they feel just how strong our vacuums are or the convenience of how they're designed or that we have 21 available spots, it's reducing the amount of time that people take to vacuum. One of our biggest points of satisfaction are actually our vacuums. The vacuums are the only point where they're actually using our equipment. When choosing our vacuums, we wanted it to be over the top with its performance. We have a 50 horsepower turbine on each side. So that provides a very consistent experience. And they know that every time they come, it's gonna be the same level of quality. onboarding experience with Vacutech was amazing. They helped specify exactly what was appropriate for my needs and for my site. The great thing is, is over the last seven months, we have had zero problems with our vacuum. We believe that if we take care of our equipment, it'll take care of us. <laughs>